Hey everybody, Reef Girl here, and welcome to my channel. Join me as I go on a Xenia fragging journey. Okay, so here's everything ready to go. My tools here, my prepared plugs there. I used glue to put on the plugs and then I dipped them in sand. I've created this basket. I've already tested it with the plugs in it. It floats really nicely, hoping that they will attach themselves really fast. Here's the patch of zinnia that I'm going to frag. It started with one little branch and it's getting out of control and starting to stick to the rocks. So I have nothing to lose by trying to get frags from this. I have no idea if what I'm hoping to do will work, but I guess I'll find out. Starting with the little pieces that I picked up off the sand, I'm simply going to drop them onto the plugs. I'm hoping that they'll stick almost right away, but I have no idea. So moving on to the main ones. I'm just using scissors to cut them. I'm hoping that the fresh cut edge will adhere immediately to the frag plugs. I don't know if this is going to work. All I'm doing is setting them aside in a container. They're not in water yet. And after I have a few done, I'll move them over into some water and see what happens. From what I'm doing here, you can probably see how hard these things are to handle. One of the methods that people often suggest with these is to cut them off, push toothpicks through the base of the stem, and then somehow fasten the toothpick onto a surface to which the stem will eventually attach itself. The problem is, you can't handle these things. They're slimy, they're mushy, they're floppy. There's no body to them whatsoever when they're out of the water. So there's no way to easily push a toothpick through the stem of one of these, unless I guess it's a really big one. And I didn't even try that because I knew right away it was just gonna be frustrating and it was not gonna work. So I lowered the basket really carefully into the water. And of course, with the slight bit of flow there is, some of them drifted off the plugs. So I had to get tiny pebbles and put them on top just to hold them there while they attach. Here's a little piece that was torn off one of the larger pieces I removed. And you can see it's already starting to pulse. So I'm just gonna leave it here and see what happens with it. I checked on these things several times through the evening and almost every time I went, something was not where it should be. So I just kept replacing them and I figured by the morning I would see whether anything had actually attached. Next morning, this little guy had obviously completely recovered. So two of them attached overnight, so they were able to come out on a frag rack, the rest of them did not attach. So I just decided I was going to spend the day continuing to move them back onto frag plugs and weighing them down with tiny pebbles and see what happened by the end of the day. By the end of that day, nothing further had attached, so I needed a different plan. I took a shallow plastic container, put some rubble in it, and then laid all of the discs on top of the rubble close together. I moved the Xenia on top of the discs and left it overnight. This is what I found the next morning. Some of the Xenia had drifted off and actually attached itself to some pebbles. This was good because it meant that I could take those pebbles and glue them onto the frag plugs. This was progress. And I was pleased to see that one or two of them actually did attach so I would be able to put these directly on the frag rack. But look at them, they're pulsing. That's so cool. So here we go. I'm wearing gloves because of the glue, not because of the Xenia. My plan is to put glue on a plug, then pick up a Xenia that's attached to a pebble and drop the pebble onto the glue. I hope this works. The tricky thing about this was to keep the Xenia away from the glue. If it touched the glue, it would slime up, and my concern was that it would slime up so much that it would also let go of the pebble. 
So I was very careful. It was tricky, but in the end, I ended up with several more that could go on the frag rack. So what worked the best was simply dropping the cut zinnia directly onto a bed of coarse sand. Maintained in low flow for approximately two days, they ultimately did attach themselves onto pieces of rubble that were large enough to handle. I learned that the best solution was actually the easiest solution. Local fish stores are always looking for zinnia because they make such a great beginner coral. I ended up with almost 20 frags, so it was well worth spending the time.